starting it at Google Tel Aviv, doing an event on startup marketing, as I mentioned yesterday. Then I'm meeting the Stripe team, who's visiting Israel, meeting them for lunch, ending the day, like every Wednesday, at I-24, talking top tech news. Here we go. Here we go, just got to Google Tel Aviv, entering the campus now. Here we are at the Google building. They have, I believe, eight or nine floors here, including ways, including many other things. They build here elements of the Google experience. I believe they build, did you mean? You know, when you search and you write something wrong and they say, did you mean this? They also build the major parts of Android here in this building. Where I'm going is the Google Tel Aviv campus where they have a program for entrepreneurs. And there's going to be an event there this morning about startup growth hacking, along with some other marketers, VP marketing of Checkmarks, Asaf Shulman, and several others. After I finish that, I'm going to lunch right here with Stripe. It's going to be a pretty interesting day. I am on the best blog ever. You know when people ask you to like their page on Facebook, they ask on their page, it's like they're preaching to the choir, you're talking to the people watching the vlog, telling them to watch the vlog. Actually hit subscribe, and next to subscribe there's a little bell. Hit the bell so you can be notified and comment before you delicious. There you go. I, <laughs> I, 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 you know, all those YouTubers that ask for subscribe, and I'm like, I can't do that, so it's a good thing you can. I'll, I'll have you on every episode asking people to subscribe. Just to clip me. this and just play it. Back. There you go. Beautiful. I love it. Who are you? I'm a young Israel of Wadi Digital. I help startups market in the digital world. We are at Google Campus Tel Aviv, and we're going to be speaking about marketing hacks specifically for startups. I'll be speaking about B2B advertising. LinkedIn has this really cool new thing called lead generation ads, where literally in a click of a button, it fills out all the form with all information, phone number, email that you want of a person. You get leads that are accurate and takes a second to happen on LinkedIn's platform and it saves you time, doesn't load, and your conversion rates are fantastic. So I just, as you were speaking, got a comment from Efrat Dagan, who was the lead recruiter here at Google, who saw that my, my morning picture that I'm gonna be here and she said, let's meet for coffee. I didn't even know she was in Israel. I thought she was in California. You see people ask about those selfies, man. Look at that ROI. Bam, just like that. Unbelievable. Huh? All right, we're gonna start this event soon. Let's do it. It's gonna be a good one. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. in the room. Vlogging. Yeah. And I want to know if you would recommend doing that for interviews as well. And this content thing wins. So if I keep this up consistently, long term, high quality video, the traffic will come, right? But it is pain to do. It's really hard. It's like five, six hours a day. Yes. And I'm walking around with this thing looking goofy on the street. So you can do it, then do it. Definitely. It's not about followers, it's about visibility. It doesn't matter if I have one follower. And by the way, just generally speaking, followers are literally irrelevant. If I have one follower and it's Oprah Winfrey, then we're good. <laughs> the number of followers is literally just don't even look at that. Thanks, guys. Here, the Stripe team. You're visiting Tel Aviv. Tell me about Stripe and what you're doing here. Stripe's here to meet with entrepreneurs and VCs to get a better understanding of market and what are some of the pain points and growth initiatives and founders. What's your name? Lauren. What do you do at Stripe? I'm on the growth team. And what do you think of Israel so far? Love it. Oh, I love the energy. <laughs> Who are you? I'm James. What do you do on, on Stripe? I am also on the growth team, based Where? in London. London, beautiful. Yeah. What do you think of Israel so far? It's my first time here. First time yeah. here, and how was the food we just experienced? It and was... I say experience because it was an experience. It was an experience. It was awesome, right? It was delicious. How many months have we been communicating? About a month so far, yeah. Is it? Yeah. I feel like it's been a yeah, I feel like, yeah, been too. I feel back like we go back way yeah, back. Yeah, way back, way back. You guys got the best. VCs and founders to your events that are happen it's happening this week on Sunday, Saturday night and Sunday, right? Exactly. And Patrick's here, the CEO. Tell me a little bit about Stripe, some numbers you can talk about that are out there. The latest valuation was $9.2 billion. That's a B. We have about 600-ish employees. We're in 25 different countries with offices around the world. You're leading the payments industry. Is that fair to say? It is. Love it. Get your butts to Israel. That's all I'm saying. And do it fast. <laughs> You're our best.
Awesome. Do it. I can Jaffa for my weekly I-24 segment. We'll be talking about the new Amazon Echo, the Oculus and Vive, and how they're used in the Israeli Defense Forces, and Parrot, the drone company competing with DJI. Make up in four minutes. Super late. Jaffa, Israel is a super duper unique city for a whole bunch of reasons. Primarily, though, because it's half Arab, half Jewish. Total coexistence. Barely any violence in the city. Just a really interesting vibe, as you can see. features rollouts and tech buzz of the week is strategic advisor and technology expert Hillel Fool. Hi Hillel, thanks so much for being in today. So Amazon, Amazon's like, you know, the most fascinating company in tech, you know, because they kind of like enter a space and just dominate the space, right? Huh. And so yesterday, they surprisingly, there were rumors, but they announced a, uh, a new product. Their Echo has been around, it was a speaker basically with artificial intelligence, Alexa, uh, and now it has a screen with peer-to-peer -peer, uh, FaceTime calls, not FaceTime, that's an Apple product, but video calls. So anybody who has it in their living room can now, one button, call your mother, call your grandmother, and it's super, super seamless. A new division, which is the prosumer uh, version of their drones to compete with DJI. Mm -hmm. We're talking anywhere between $1,000 to $5,000 a drone. Wow. We're talking, you know, high-end cameras, 4K, distance, seven, seven kilometers away. We're talking high speeds, just like basically the Mavic we've talked about in the DJI Phantom. Uh, the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, is using augmented reality, virtual reality, and they're training using headsets, and it's now a breaking story, but the truth Truth is, since we're, you know you, you could see this on the internet, I actually did. I went to this office, this same building, maybe six or eight months ago, and interviewed these people who are literally using the Oculus and HTC Vive to uh, you know show the the soldiers in training as if they were in the field and to train them in, in combat and things that you know is a much more experiential uh, experience, I should say. That mm -hmm. you know they're there. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Leaving I-24 now, I have first conference call with the U.S. in 30 minutes and four more for the rest of the evening. Other than that, it's a pretty good day.